A cycle of seasons is caused due to the inclination of the earth's axis at a fixed angle and direction and the revolution of the earth around the sun. To learn or to revise about inclination of the earth's axis, you can see the link in the description box. Now let's learn what is solstice. The day on which the midday sun shines vertically overhead at the Tropic of Cancer or the Tropic of Capricorn and the duration of the day is the longest in the hemisphere is called solstice. Let us understand solstice in a better way with the help of the given diagram. There are two kinds of solstice. Summer solstice which appears in the month of June and winter solstice which appears in the month of December. Before moving further, you have to see that there are four different positions of the earth sphere. And all the four different positions are having the red circle which indicates the arctic circle and there is a white dot marked inside the arctic circle which is the north pole. We have to consider the north pole to understand the solstice as well as the equinox. Let us take the summer solstice first which is on the left hand side of the sun. The 21st of June the northern hemisphere experiences the longest day and the shortest night because the position of the earth on 21st of june is known as summer solstice as the northern hemisphere or we can say its north pole is inclined towards the sun and the sun rays fall vertically on the tropic of cancer therefore the places in northern hemisphere experiences the summer season. I hope everyone has remembered that northern hemisphere is having tropic of Cancer and southern hemisphere is having tropic of Capricorn. Now, during this time when north pole or northern hemisphere is facing the sun, the southern hemisphere is on the opposite side and receives the slanting rays of the sun. Thus, the duration of daylight is short in it and winter season is in the southern hemisphere. Now let's move to the winter solstice which appears in the month of December, especially on 22nd of December. Places in the southern hemisphere experiencing the longest day and the shortest night on 22nd of December. As the position of the south pole is inclined towards the sun and south pole receives the rays vertically over the tropic of Capricorn therefore it is summer season in the southern hemisphere. At the same time it is opposite in the northern hemisphere which is at the back side of the southern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere receives the slant rays of the sun and there the days are short and nights are longer. Thus, northern hemisphere is having a winter season during the month of December. Now, let us learn about equinox. The day on which the midday sun shines vertically overhead at the equator and the duration of the day and night is equal is called equinox. There are two types of equinoxes. Spring equinox which is on 21st of March and Ottoman equinox which comes in the month of September that is 23rd September. As we know the sun shines vertically over the equator and due to this the position of the earth is like that neither of the poles are tilted towards the sun and they lie at an equal distance from the sun it results in equal days and nights at the places on the earth during this period the northern hemisphere experiences spring season while 
it is autumn season in the southern hemisphere similarly on 23rd of september which is known as autumn equinox the sun shines vertically over the equator this results in equal days and equal nights all over the earth during this day the northern hemisphere has autumn while southern hemisphere experiences the spring season thanks for watching the complete video hope your doubts regarding rotation revolution solstice equinoxes and many more things are clear keep on liking and sharing the knowledge have a great day